Okay, everyone, it's just around uh, 10 o'clock uh, Mountain Time, so I uh, just want to kick off the presentation here. Welcome to the CPWA Certification uh, Introduction Overview. My name is Gray Bullard. I'm an enrollment counselor here at the Investments and Wealth Institute. Uh, and on the call are some of my colleagues as well. Uh, also, Carrie Estes, who is an enrollment counselor as well. Um, both of us can certainly help uh, all of you answer any questions that you have on the webinar today. So again, uh, this is uh, me, Carrie, and uh, we'll share our contact information with you uh, as well. But also, uh, as we go on the webinar here, um, all lines are going to be muted. Um, type any questions that you have in the chat box. Uh, we are recording this webinar, so you will receive a recording uh, of the webinar after, uh, after it concludes. And uh, this uh, does not have CE hours uh, applicable for this. So just a little bit about us. Uh, we are the certification board for our three uh, designations here, the Certified Investment Management Analyst or the SEMA program, the CPWA or the Certified Private Wealth Advisor Certification, which you're going to hear about today, and also the RMA or the Retirement Management Advisor Certification. We have uh, just over uh, 11,000 or so certificates uh, in our network, and um, we have online content as well, but uh, we uh, will get into a little bit about our sort of ecosystem and the Institute and what uh, and everything that we uh, that we comprise of here. So this is just a little description here of our um, uh, everything that we have going on at the Institute. We have, uh, you know, uh, in-person and virtual conferences throughout the year. Uh, we have our next conference, uh, which is in May in Nashville. Um, and it's, um, it's our ACE Academy. Uh, so please, you know, please view a little bit about that on our website. Um, we also, as I mentioned, have over 11,000 certificates, uh, that have their SEMA, CPWA, or their RMA. And we also have uh, an award-winning magazine, uh, The Monitor, which is an award-winning publication. Um, we also have the Journal of Investment Consulting and the Retirement Ma Management Journal. So there's no shortage of great education to have or great articles that our certificates and that our practitioners here at the Institute can share. So this is why you're here today to learn more about our Certified Private Wealth Advisor uh, certification. Um, these are the reasons we, um, we send out uh, questions and polls to our certificates here, and these are the five reasons they tell us why they get their CPWA. Number one, it's the content that you're going to learn. It's the content uh, in the curriculum with the 11 modules that we'll talk a little bit about later in the program uh, that will help you um, become a more uh, competitive uh, advisor or uh, wealth manager, whichever your uh, role is at your firm or your organization, or if you're an independent registered investment advisor, help you manage your clients uh, and drive those conversations with the clients that you have. Number three, compensation. We tend to see advisors have a higher compensation at the firms they represent uh, because of that sophisticated education they're getting, that executive education. Uh, and number four, you're going to have more confidence with clients, right? You're going to be able to engage them and talk to them about topics and, and, uh, and, and, and relevant topics that they may not be sort of following every day that you're going to be uh, learning about in this program. And number five, expert instruction. We bring in some of the top faculty practitioners in the world, really, and, and bring them to you so you can learn more about uh, the topics that you're going to be studying. So next, this is really what you're going to need to get to know pretty well. I mean, I'm, I'm actually going through the program right now, uh, and I'm living and breathing uh, the core body of knowledge, right? We call it the CBOC. We love our acronyms here, uh, but there are, as I mentioned, 11 modules here. And those four buckets there, human dynamics, wealth management, technical design, legacy issues, and specialty client services, each of those are broken up in the exam, right? So I've what I've done is taken a little bit of a snapshot here. I would certainly take a snapshot uh, of wealth management, technical design, tax planning. It's going to be a big part. So I would definitely get a little familiar with that. Almost uh, just over a third of this program is that wealth management, technical design. Tax planning is a big chunk of it. Right. I mean, high net worth clients tend to be more exposed to taxes and tax planning. So it's definitely a big part. So next, uh, I want to talk a little bit about the uh, executive education program providers. Um, we have two at this point right now. Right. You see the two Yale School of Management and Chicago Booth. 
Okay, so what are the differences, right? We want to have options for you all to study. So number one, Yale School of Management, 100% online, on demand, no virtual classroom, no in-person classroom. It's more at your own pace. It's more uh, something where you want to take a little bit maybe less or more time to do it. You don't want to be uh, in, in an in-person classroom situation like Chicago Booth, whereas 90% self-study, 10% in-person. Uh, the next class we have for Chicago Booth is in September. So if you can see some of the dates here that I provided here on this slide, um, this slide here has the class schedules. Uh, we have the next class in September of uh, 2022, September 18th through the 22nd. Um, and uh, after that, we have classes in two 2023 that we've provided. So uh, just a little bit about the Yale School again. Again, no in-person class, 100% virtual. Um, this is the program that will be fully online uh, and at your own pace. And this is the other program, uh, the, uh, the Chicago Booth program, which is self-study, as I mentioned, almost basically 90% of that is self-study. And four and a half days will be live in Chicago in person, uh, Sunday night through Thursday midday uh, uh, for those dates. So next here, um, this is a little bit uh, about the application deadline. So March 31st is the next deadline for our Chicago Booth class. Um, that deadline uh, is set for um, that date because you're gonna start studying right after that, right? You're gonna start studying from April all the way up till September until you get to Chicago uh, to take that in-person class. And just a little uh, note here, right now the CPWA for Chicago Booth and Yale are 6,995. Well, that cost is going to go up a little bit. Um, you know, uh, April 1st is when that cost will go up to $7,295. And these are uh, a little description of the dates here as well. So, um, you know, we understand that premium executive education can come at a cost uh, and that price um, can certainly be offset a little bit with tuition assistance. We have a great scholarship program. I understand I was a major gift fundraiser in higher ed. I understand how what of an impact and how wonderful it is to receive scholarship and to have some tuition assistance as you're uh, as you're going, you know, as you're going through the program. Uh, these are the three areas in which you qualify as um, uh, diversity scholarship, number one, women and wealth scholarship, and finally the RIA excellence scholarship if you're an independent advisor. But please, again, you know, have a look at our website. Um, there is the scholarship uh, form link there that you can just fill out. And once you um, once you apply to that and you hear back from our scholarship team here, then you you would then apply for the CPWA program. So these are this is just a brief uh, uh, snapshot of the four E's, really the requirements. Right, number one, uh, having a bachelor's four year undergraduate degree as well as five years of industry experience. Now, you don't have to have that five years to start the program, but you certainly have to have the bachelor's. Uh, and as you get through the CPWA curriculum and program and pass the exam, once you have those five years, you can carry the marks after your name. You can then advertise yourself as a full CPWA uh, uh, candidate. So, or not, excuse me, candidate, but um, CPWA holder, their certificate holder. And you'll get uh, these um, wonderful certificates uh, from Yale or Chicago Booth, and you also have one from the Investments and Wealth Institute as well. So number two, ethics. We have a code of, re of professional responsibility. You will undergo a background check similar to that of your employer, probably. Uh, number two, or excuse me, number three, the education. So prior to certification, you must complete an executive education, which I've just noted at Yale or Chicago Booth. So that is a requirement for the program. And number four, examination. You'll take the final CPW exam. You can do that online. You can also do it at a, at a testing center if that's what you prefer. But we do have the two options for you uh, in, in this COVID world where you may not want to, to go to a testing center. So uh, this is, again, a little bit of the application process. So number one, I would certainly think about the scholarship program, uh, apply to that before you actually enroll in the CPWA. So you do that first. And then once you hear back, you'd submit an application and do the um, and pass that comprehensive background check. And number two, 
the executive education program through Yale or Chicago, you pass the exam, and then the, finally that, that final background check. Uh, and then you complete a license agreement and pay that initial certification fee at the end. So after you get through and study and complete and pass the exam, you know, this is how you're going to feel, right? You're going to celebrate with your family and your friends. I hope to celebrate. Uh, 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 hopefully, uh, you know, I'm going to Chicago booth next week and then in April, uh, hopefully complete the exam and pass that. It's going to be very exciting, but it's a lot of study and it's a lot of hard work. So certainly uh, you're going to be excited and celebrate. So these are uh, this. I just want to put up a slide with our contact information. So that's me. Uh, that's Carrie as well with her contact info. Uh, and you may know Mike Kurz. Uh, if you've seen our website, he's our director of programs here. He also helps um, manage some of these intro webinars. So you'll see him going forward as well. Um, so that's his contact info if you want to speak directly to him about things. But please reach out to me and Carrie first and we can uh, help um, you with any questions you might have. Uh, with the CPWA and the curriculum and, and costs and application enrollment. So I just wanted to open things up to questions here a little bit. Um, it's around uh, 10, 15 or so here. So we've got around, you know, 10 or 15 minutes for, for questions. Please reach out. I was just going to check the chat box here a little bit just to see what kind of questions yeah, here we go. So can you discuss the fees that CPWA normally charge? So I believe that's the cost, right? The um, the upfront 6995 which I had mentioned, uh, will go up a little bit uh, April 1st. So um, I think that was the, um, that's the question you may have had. Uh, number two, C question. Greg, Greg, do you yeah. mind if I chime in here quickly? Sure. Um, just in addition, uh, Yale in entirety is, is the education component and any study resources are included in that $69.95. Um, if you do go to Chicago and choose the in-person Chicago option, um, you will travel expenses to Chicago are not included in the fees. So room and board while you're in Chicago are included in that $69.95 price, mm -hmm. but your travel expenses to and from Chicago, of course, are not included in the fee. Right. That's right. You need to uh, just get yourself to Chicago. That's all you really need to cover outside of the 6,995. And you see the other question here, what is the annual here renewal fee? Is there mm -hmm. a continued education requirement? Certainly, if you want to address those, Greg, go ahead. Sure. Well, we do have uh, membership tiers. If you want to join the Institute as a member, we have uh, uh, three different membership tiers. Um, uh, that, uh, I have to get the prices right, but I think it's 895 for a basic membership that includes membership and your recertification. Uh, and there is a continuing ed requirement for the CPWA. So that's 40 hours every two years. And the membership also covers that two years as well. So it's really, you know, 20 hours per year, 40 hours total for your CPWA. And also if you get your SEMA and your RMA, you would, you would also include that as well. So you just need the 40 hours for any other designations that you might have. Great. We have another question here about how quickly after the in-person class should I sit for the exam? Well, I think we've recommended a week or two, a couple of weeks, the further out. I think it, it, uh, it, it might, you might sort of get, you know, forget a few things that you've learned either in the class, uh, but I would certainly think within a month, uh, definitely, you know, up to two weeks or so after the exam, or excuse me, yeah. after the, um, the class. We do recommend to candidates that after you complete executive education through either provider, scheduling that exam really helps you get in the, the state of mind and prepare for that final examination. So as soon as you can schedule that, again, that's done at Pearson View in person or Proctor U, and there's no testing window, so you can sit for and take the exam at any time throughout the year. Sure. So we have a few more here outside of the in-person for Booth. How do we distinguish between Yale and Booth and choosing the study program? Well, I again, I think it's it's more um, you know it's more what's what's more comfortable for you, right? I think the in-person is the main uh, kind of difference between doing Booth and Yale. Uh, Chicago Booth, the curriculum will be presented at eleven modules that we you would go through our website, the Investments Wealth Institute website. Yale has their form of the curriculum. Um, it's presented, I believe, on Canvas, uh, which is a little different than 
and that, but the curriculum is still very much the same. Yale will have their form of test prep. Uh, they will have their form of test prep, which you can do, and they pride themselves on. Chicago Booth has an additional accelerator pack. Now, that's something that if you sign up for Chicago Booth, it will help get you, you know, um, provide you with um, you know, testing questions and additional study prep. Um, and also it provides unlimited test retakes. So if you if you purchase that accelerator pack, you can take unlimited tests um, with, you know, normally I think costs around 225 to take the test, ex uh, the exam again. Um, so those are just little nuances that are different, but um, the, the, the cost is pretty much this is exactly the same for both programs. Excellent. Another question here. Can you take the class and exam before the five years of experience, then become certified after the experience requirement is completed? Right. I think that's what I had noted, uh, mentioned a little bit. You can take the class and the exam before five years of experience. Um, once you become, once you hit that five years of experience, you then become certified and can carry that those marks after your name, put them on your LinkedIn profile with digital badging and uh, also your business cards. Um, and also, you know, you'll get your sort of quote unquote diploma from those from that school. Excellent. Um, another question here. What is the first time exam taker pass rate? I think what are we at 84% now? That's correct. 84% oh. over the last um, couple quarters here, um, which is a, you know, very high within the industry. I think that speaks to some of the exam prep and of course preparation that both Yale and Chicago offer through the program. Um, so that's encouraging for, for candidates, certainly. Yeah, we also have a couple of questions here on the Q&A. Yeah, I talked a little bit about, I think, the accelerator pack. Um, somebody had asked about the uh, Chicago accelerator pack. So, you know, that, again, is um, you can purchase that on uh, at once you've been accepted to Chicago booth. Um, that will go into exam retakes, unlimited exam retakes, a test, you know, a test prep center. Uh, that will be digital, you know, online modules that will put you through the, you know, will help you with some of those testing questions as well. Um, Another one here is the test given immediately after the in-person class in Chicago. Um, I'll go ahead and take that. There is no in-person exam in Chicago. We ask that you work with Pearson View or ProctorU to take that exam. Our mm -hmm. internal CPWA team We'll reach out um, to let you know when you're available to take that exam, and you can reach out to them directly and um, and schedule that. Right. Let's see here. Uh, some more in the chat. It looks like. Uh, did you say what the main difference between SEMA and the CPWA? Uh, you know, I didn't get into that as much. Um, so the SEMA is more for investment management. So there are kind of three categories here, right? SEMA is more for investment management. Uh, CPWA is it is private wealth or wealth management. And then our RMA certification is retirement management. So the SEMA curriculum is based more on portfolio construction, right? Investments, investment analysis. You're going to be looking at risk and return, standard deviation, things like uh, you would look at, you'd be looking at equity, fixed income things to build a portfolio for investment managers, right? That's a little different than wealth planning, right? So we tend to see a lot of CFPs uh, coming through, a lot of people who are financial planners for clients. So really what the CPWA focuses on is that planning for high net worth individuals. So we, we say around 5 million and up uh, might be a little looser than that, but uh, definitely client uh, you know, advisors who are managing client wealth of you know, at least 5 million and up for financial planning. So a little different in that curriculum as I've gone through, right? Tax planning, estate planning, charitable giving, um, uh, planning for executives, uh, things like that. So um, that's more the CPWA. Um, the RMA is retirement planning. So uh, having a retirement mindset. So more as opposed to the accumulation of assets, more decumulation. So I'm turning 65, 67, I'm going to be retiring, I'm going to leave my, my employer. How do, I, how do I plan for that? And what do I do to, to replace that income that I've lost, right? That's a little different than talking to an executive at a firm who's, you know, managing employees um, and has, a, has an, a trust or, you know, an estate set up for, 
for their um, and 401ks and you know 403 but you know planning for their children's education that's a little different than having a conversation with somebody who's planning to retire so oh those are some really great questions you guys thank you for putting yeah. those in um, just to highlight too we speak with advisors all day interested in our certifications when it comes to CPWA I do, we do tend to speak to a, a, an advisor who perhaps isn't even in the high net worth space. And we say that's 5 million or above. Um, and I think, you know, we're seeing that the CPWA can give you the confidence and credibility to really obtain, you know, retain those type of clients. Um, so it's not meant for an advisor who maybe is in that space currently always, mm -hmm. um, but it can be for an advisor who um, is, is looking to work with a high, more affluent high net worth client as well. Right. Excellent. Um, so let's see if we have any more. All right. Any other questions out there? Some really, really good ones today. Yeah, and if you have any questions following the webinar, um, you know, please send us an email, give us a call. Um, I'll pull up our contact info again. There, can you all see the contact information? Excellent. Well, I don't see any other other questions coming through. Uh, Gray and I will be available for the next couple minutes here um, to chat if you want to pick up the phone or shoot us an email. And um, yeah, great yeah. job, Gray. Thanks so much for joining us. Great. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Carrie.